Sarah Chili. This time we're going to take a look at what's new and cool in identity and authentication. Check it out. A few years back, Microsoft announced something called passwordless authentication. And this means that you could log on with your beautiful face or your iris or a fingerprint or something like that. Now they're going to take things one step further. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at uh, what I think are some pretty innovative features. Of course, Azure Active Directory now becomes Microsoft Entra, of which Azure Active Directory is a component. I know it's a bit confusing, isn't it? And um, so I thought what we would do is I've got some nice demos. I'm going to show you some of the new cool authentication methods. Um, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Entra and some of the benefits that it brings. Now, if you've not subscribed, then we love subscribers. So bum the subscribe button up there, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on good stuff in the future. And if you uh, enjoy the session, I would really appreciate a big thumbs up and bump that like button. All right, comments, questions, get them down below. And as ever, I'll do my best for you. Okay, so if you're ready, buckle up. This is a good one. All right, enjoy. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the new look Azure Active Directory. And you can find this here if you, by going to the Azure AD portal and clicking on Microsoft Entra. Now Entra is the new fresh face of identity authentication and authorization. So the idea is it provides more of a Microsoft 365 look and feel so that everything looks and feels familiar and is the same. So the menus have been simplified to find things easier. You don't need to go and look at multiple screens and in multiple locations and so on. In fact, that everything is just here in one place is really, really nice. So as well as Azure Active Directory, you'll notice that it's got some friends alongside it. So permissions management provided by Cloudnox, and we've also got Verified ID, which I'll talk about in a moment. So first up then, let's dive deeper into what's new in Azure Active Directory. So I'm going to drill down into Azure Active Directory and one of the first places that I'm going to come to is I'm going to come into Protect and Secure. And I'm going to go into authentication methods because we have seen a whole bunch of new authentication methods, which is really interesting. Now, we've had FIDO for quite some time. That's the FIDO keys, UB keys. Of course, you can go and try those out. Um, Microsoft Authenticator app. We've now got the SMS preview in here as well. So this is really nice. So I've got my legal team here and I've essentially set this up. So specific groups, I'm going to allow them to use that for a sign in. OK, now, in addition to this, um, we have got other things as well in here. So you have got the temporary access pass and I've talked about this before. And what temporary access pass does is it allows me to select a group of new users. Let's it could be, a, let's say, a new employee. And uh, let's say you're br either bringing in a group of users or an individual user. So, for example, I can scroll down and I can say I've got a, a group here called safety. And this particular group, I now want to um, allow that. So I'm going to save that. So I'm going to click on configure and here in the configuration option, you can see that this kind of feels very HR-ish, doesn't it? So the idea is that, of course, you're onboarding a new employee or an employee loses their device or something like that. So what this allows us to do is issue a temporary access pass to those employees. Now, although I've showed you this feature before, which I'm just going to update this, we have a, a, a new set of templates, which is really quite exciting. So for that, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come into identity governance. And in identity governance, we have this new feature here called lifecycle workflows. And the idea of a lifecycle workflow is that I can come into here 
and there are a whole bunch of workflows that you can create. And you can see that essentially they're linked to a number of templates. So whether the user is joining an organization or whether they're leaving an organization, you can see the details here. This shows me what essentially what it's triggering. So uh, I'm going to say, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to select that template. And you can see that the event, um, the event timing, you've got the attribute here and it will automate that whole process for me. So again, I can configure them. I can say, hey, you know, in this case, I want to onboard a new employee. I can choose the department, the location. There's lots of attributes that I can put in. I can say if they're joining the marketing department, I can say, OK, these are the automations. So I want to enable the user account, send a, uh, a welcome email. And of course, you can add the user to a team. Think how cool this is. This is such a useful feature. And this is going to be particularly useful for folks like, uh, you know, HR departments. And I can see Azure Active Directory definitely connecting um, to various HR systems out there. Uh, and likewise, you can see I want to offboard uh, an employee. I can say if I've got a problem with a user, I can do a real time employee termination here. So again, we have some pre uh, filled uh, things here and you can see that just by a single click, it will go off and it will remove users from groups and teams and it will delete the user account as well. So very and you can automate this as well. So this is what makes this uh, super exciting. So um, like I said, that's lifecycle workflows, but really coming up from that, that whole concept of the authentication method. And it's really nice to see that temporary access pass coming in now. So if you're in hybrid and you're still using ADFS, maybe you've got smart cards. What we're now seeing is a whole new selection of alternative authentication methods. So this is really nice. It now supports third party OAuth tokens. So that's the hardware tokens. We've also got voice call preview. I'm going to do a dedicated session on this in the not too distant future, actually. Um, we also have one time password at last it's come in here. So again, you can do it for specific users or all users and also specific groups as well. So again, I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to bring this, let's say to us sales. I'll select that and I'm going to enable the one time password for these particular uh, group of users. Now, of course, you can also go in and you can exclude a user here. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And it, yeah, as you can see here, allow external users to email to use this feature. So I'm going to say, yep, yeah, I want it to basically switch that on and I'm going to go ahead and save this. So really nice to see that now available in Azure AD. Now, as well as one time password, we also have certificate based authentication. And of course, certificate authentication is particularly important because it authenticates. So, for example, if you're using things like IPsec or um, some other authentication. Or so if you're using a cryptographic protocol that needs an authentication mechanism or you want to use a VPN or something like that, Again, this type of authentication is super important. So again, you can bring in you can bring in a certificate for both single factor or multi factor authentication levels. And you can also choose which attributes that you want to include in there. All right. So again, I can go ahead and I can save that. And once you've done that, you can then deploy that to a specific user. Um, so all, all of these, of course, are just some some of the authentication methods that are coming out. But one of my absolute favorites, of course, is the new Entra feature, which is Verify ID. Let's take a look at this. So what are verified credentials? Well, it's based on blockchain for starters. 
And the idea is that you register all of your personal details with a trusted provider. And that trusted provider then provides you with a verified ID. And that essentially means that irrespective of where you go, whether it's to a bank for a loan or a new job, you can essentially present your ID just like you would a credit card and you're instantly verified as being a true person. So when we think about identity, this is really the next generation of identity and it's really very exciting. So how does it work and what does it look like to the end user? Well, take a look at this. So today I'm playing the role of Matthew and Matthew's joining a bank. Now Matthew has already registered his identity, um, but if he hasn't, he could go through this uh, setup here. So uh, first up then verify that you use the true identity website. So the idea is that you go to a trusted source you upload your birth certificate, driver's license, credit card details, basically all the details that prove who you are, okay? So I'm gonna go here and verify my ID with this true identity. Now, it, I have to do this before it lets me authenticate. The, now, the really nice thing about this technology is that you are in control. So uh, I could go ahead, I could take a selfie, of course. So, you know, assuming that I'm Matthew, I upload my government details. So I upload my government issued ID. Um, and I'm going to say, yes, I want to upload that to you. And I'm going to then click on next. And it now verifies my information. Now that I've been verified, um, essentially what I now have <laughs> is I now have a QR code. So I'm gonna open up this QR code and I'm going to verify myself. And it's asking me for the pin number on screen. So again, I'll just put this in. Again, this is just a demo that I'm putting in. So I'm gonna click next. And you can see it's now given me my verified ID. And I'm now going to add that to my wallet, okay? So you can now see I've added my verified ID. Um, it's giving me the details of who I am and who has recently accessed my data. So now I'm going to return to Woodgrove Bank and it says, okay, it looks familiar. It's detected my ID. So I'm gonna say, yes, that's fine. And assuming that I've got the rights and permissions, I can now uh, access the portal. Now, again, I can log in with my details. Okay, so as you can see, it's now been verified. It's looking good uh, and it's, I am now uh, good to go. So there you have it. It's much more transparent than traditional identity methods. And we're all familiar with using Apple Wallet and Apple Pay. This is a very similar concept, except for your identity. Pretty exciting, really, don't you think? So there you have it, the ever-changing world of identity and authentication uh, within Microsoft Azure Active Directory, or should I say, Microsoft Entra. Hey, listen, I really hope you enjoyed this week's session. If you did, bump the subscribe button, ring the bell, and come and join this great community. And if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you bump the like button. It really does make a difference. And if you want to ask any questions or make any comments, of course, please get them down below, and I'll do my very best for you. All right? That's it for this time. I'll see you next week. You stay safe. I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.